All right, I am two classes. Uh, today we are factoring completely. Um, what that means is we are going to have uh, polynomials with two layers of factoring, um, or two or more, I should say. So again, what I mean by the two layers of factoring, um, let me give you an example. Uh, let's say we had um, something uh, like 18, number 18, that would factor into two times nine. And then this nine has a second layer of factoring, which would be three times three. So it has three total factors, two times three times three. Um, that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna have these two layers of factoring here. Um, so guidelines just for factoring completely, uh, factor out the greatest monomial factor, the GCF. Your GCF first, always check for GCF first. Once that out, then you want to look for the other methods we learn. Just basic trinomial. Is it a difference of squares? Um, or is it a factor by grouping? So those are the ones that we've gone over, and that's what we're going to be looking at. Um, so starting off, factor completely, we want to do a GCF. So what I'm going to do um, is expand all this to make it a little bit easier to find that GCF for us. Uh, some of you may be looking at it and can see it's going to be 3x. And if you can do that in your head, great. Um, but here, so uh, 3, so 3x cubed, that's 3, and then x times x times x, plus 6. That factors into 2 times 3, and x squared is x times x. Minus 18. Uh, I just did the 18 over here, but the 18 factors into 2 times 3 times 3. So 2 times 3 times 3 times x. So now I'm going to look for what they have in common. So they each have a 3. I'm going to take a 3, put it on the outside. Uh, and then they each have uh, an x. So we can take an x out of all of those. All right, and now I'm going to rewrite it, so clean it up a little bit. So there's a 3x on the outside, and then it's x squared plus 2x minus 6. And then from here, um, you, you just need to continue factoring. This is a trinomial, so we are going to use that x factor. Uh, on the x factor, the last number goes on top. Um, got nothing in front here. Uh, so it's going to be negative six on top, two on bottom. Here's one of the things that will confuse kids. They'll multiply the three out here. This three is no longer part of what we are factoring. That is on the outside. So we are just factoring this portion in here. All right. Uh, ben? There we go. Uh, factors of negative six that add to two. Um, yeah, I got to think about that one, negative six. So uh, I don't, so it's just five and nope, 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 nope. So one and six and then two and three are the only numbers that multiply. So uh, that doesn't factor unless I'm missing something. Um, yeah, that doesn't factor, so we're actually done. So this is a does not factor. So 3x times x squared plus 2x minus 6 is factored completely. This one doesn't have um, the two layers of factoring. So we're done there. Let's do another example. Hopefully this one has some factoring we can do. Um, again, I'm going to expand this out. 7 times x to the 4th is 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 28. Uh, 28 would be 2 times 14, and then 14 is 2 times 7. So 28 is 2 times 2 times 7 times x squared is x times x. So look for what they have in common. So each term has a 7 in common. And then uh, if we look, 
they have two X's that they have in common. So we can take out two X's both. Uh, I'm going to clean that up. So it's going to be seven X squared on the outside. And here, uh, there's just the X squared. X times X is X squared minus two times two. Is four. Boy. So this now is a difference of squares. So perfect square minus a perfect square. So square root of the first term is X. So they each get an X, that's plus or minus. Square root of the second term is two. So here is our final answer. Um, and so let me just kind of do the a factor tree so we can see what happened here. So this whole thing, all right, this whole quantity, our first layer of factoring is the seven X squared and then X squared minus four. And then this continued to factor down here as X plus two times X minus two. And so we have this two layers of factoring kind of like how the 28 has the two layers of factoring. And that's where all that's coming from, all right? Um, cool, so uh, this one here, it's a uh, three X cubed. So three times X times X looking for the GCF 12. This is going to be a two times six and six is two times three. So it's two times two times three times X. Look for what they have in common. Again, a lot of you might be able to do this in your head. You can see that's three X. That is great if you can do that. Uh, if not, this doesn't take that long. And it is helpful to find uh, the common factors. So then what would be left um, would be 3x times x times x is x squared minus 2, or 2 times 2 is 4. Look at that. We have that same, not a great example because it's the same uh, difference of squares. Oh, well. Uh, x squared minus 4, that's going to be uh, h can x plus or minus square root of four is two. So then we are done with that one. See what we have here. Okay. Um, hopefully this one is a little bit better. So I'm going to expand this like I've been doing with the other one. So two y cubed is one, two, three y's minus 12. We just did that one. That's two times two times three is y squared. Uh, 18, we've already done that one twice. 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. We expand everything. Fix that. And then look, let's look for what they all have in common. Uh, so starting off, they each have at least one, two we can take out. And it looks like they each have a Y. We can pull out of them. So two Y on the outside. Two times Y, two Y, and then Y, y times Y there's Y squared minus two times three is six Y plus uh, three times three is nine. All right. Uh, this one is going to factor. So I'm going to do my X factor here. Um, I'm just going to, I'm just looking at this part here. I'm, not, I'm ignoring the two Y for right now. So at the top of the X factor is going to be the nine. It's going to be a negative uh, six on the bottom, factors nine to add to negative six. That's going to be negative three and negative three. So this would be X minus three times X minus three. When we factor those, uh, don't forget to bring down the two Y and include it in your answer. And then because these are uh, exactly the same, we can write this as two Y times X minus three squared. You didn't do that last part where we bring it all the way down to x minus 3 squared. Uh, I wouldn't count that wrong. Uh, it is a more simplified version, but uh, 
this is okay out there. All right, we are gonna skip over, no, we'll do this one. Uh, so M, uh, M cubed is N times N times M minus two M squared is M times M uh, minus eight is two times two times two times M. So looking at what they have in common, it looks like they just have an M. They don't, this one doesn't have a two, so we can't take any twos. They just have the M. They each have an M, so we're gonna take that out. And so clean that up a bit. So I have an M on the outside. M times M is M squared. Minus two times M is two M. Minus two times two times two is eight. So again, I'm gonna do a X factor on what's left. Uh, negative eight on top, negative two on bottom. Back to negative eight, that adds negative two. That is going to be uh, negative four, positive two. Positive two. Uh, negative four times two is negative eight. Negative four plus two is negative two. So our uh, th that is ready for our parentheses. So that's going to be m minus four from that one. This one is m plus two. And then don't forget to bring down the extra m from the outside for our from our first layer of factoring. All right. Oh, that's a lot. And. I guess that will do it for this lesson. See you guys next time.